my name is Chiku Vitus Jonathan, live from Sapele. I'm coming live on air to showcase the little business that I'm doing to assist myself for a living. Why am I coming live on air? And number one is to advertise the public about the profession of Uba, about my business. Secondly, is to encourage my fellow young entrepreneurs who are out there and to encourage our youth, my fellow youth who are out there. And thirdly, is to create room for sponsorship. Now, on the second point, why I'm coming live on air, talking about to encourage my fellow young entrepreneurs and also to encourage my fellow young youth out there who thinks that poverty is a cause or will I say uh, who blame their parents for their present predicament. To me, I don't think if it's right. There are some people they gave birth to them under the bridge, but today they are something today. As in they don't have, they don't even know their mother. Not, 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 to, not to talk about their father, but they are somebody today. You understand? So it's the responsive step we took towards life that matters. That will determine what your present. That will determine what your future is going to be like. Um. So to cut the story short, I'd like us to go into the preparation, or let me say, into the packaging process. Proper, you know, last video that I posted, I was able to take you on a course on the foundational from a preparation of Obaka, talking about you boil it for four hours. Now, let's go into um this in detail. So, the food, anything before you start, anything you wash your hand. I already wash my hands, so I'm just fixing it with water. Okay, you, you wash your hand properly, and um, these are some of the seeds that have been cooked for four hours. You bring it out from the shell, and um, it's kind of difficult. In most cases, it gives us sleepless nights. I and my mom, she as she was one that taught me. You understand? So this is what my grandmother did. And what my great grandmother did. <laughs> so I, I'm the last born. So I'm the one that learned it from my mother. So you know that it's not easy. This is the strenuous part of the fashion of packer. Slice it into tiny pieces. Just like this. Okay. Slice it. So don't mind me. Ah, I thought I slice it into tiny pieces. Okay. Don't mind me if mine's not that fast yet. There is no for improvement. Okay. Slice it. This one is brown. Why is it brown? You know, this thing is a kind of seasonal stuff. So, it has been kept for a long time, and that's why the color looks like this. Originally, it's more it looks more brighter than this originally um these these are some of the ones that have been cut already it has this color because like what i said um it has been the raw seed has been kept for a long time so this is why it has this um, color let me put this one okay um they said this is how it will look like. This is how it will look like if um you finish slicing it. After you boil it, you move it from the ox and you slice it. Then the next thing you do is that you we um steam it. So you steam just like this. You steam this one, this uh, part. You steam it for two hours. Let's say one hour or one hour thirty minutes. Then after you finish steaming, this is how it will look like. Look like something like um this, yeah. Here we go. You look like this. You want to see? It will look like this. After you steam this one for two hours, it will look like this. Then the next thing you do is that um you will soak it. This piece is like this. Um, you will soak it inside the water. You put, let's say, there's water here. Pour water inside of it. A water pool. You soak it for two for the next 24 hours. That is the next day. You soak these pieces like this. Soak it, pour, pour it inside the plates. 
then what happens you add water to it and you cover it for the next 24 hours then you bring it out you bring it out from the water and what happens you look for a nylon bag where you wrap it look for a nylon bag where you wrap it so let me put this one here put this one here so you look for a nylon bag now after you finish wrapping it okay you, you this and this is a good example of the one that has been wrapped you understand so you bring it out bring some portion from it okay you bring some portion from it yeah bring some portion from it you have salt we all know um the importance of salt it helps to for seasoning it helps to give it taste and um for preserve for preservation so you mix it together mix it together um let's take one for a test to see if it's okay you need to test it so that you won't have the salt won't be much because of some hypertensive patients you understand so let's test it Mmm, lovely. In fact, I feel like eating everything. So, you had one because you will find this. You need to add salt to it. You need to add salt to it. A bit, minus amount of salt, a little amount of salt. So, one of my bag my, my bag are just, <laughs> so I don't know how to put it. Okay, so, let's, okay, so we mix it. Um, the next point, the next thing we do um, is to so tie it. So tie it, let me get my rope. Tie it, understand? That is it. So, um, let me put this on here. So, the next point is to do what is to tie it, is to package it inside this is called this almond tree. This thing is gotten from almond tree, but in our local palace, we call it a belebo. That's what we call it. Okay, so I need to put it. This one, as I see it, it works, it costs them um, 15 naira as it is like this. It's 15 naira. So, wrap it. Oh, before I land this thing there, my god, the first time when I used to, the first time that I tied it, it looked like what um, bulldozer hit. <laughs> the tie was distorted. So, um, what is that? that? The tie is gently. Gently, yeah. Okay. 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 This look like. Put it clap for me. <laughs> okay. So if I finish trying it like this, you can eat it. Like you, like you all saw me when I was tasting the okoba, you eat it, you can eat it like this, you understand? Know, but if you choose to, you can keep it for the next 24 hours for you to get ferment. So when, it's, when, it, when it has gotten fermented, you open it, you can put it, you can use it to prepare okra soup. I used to eat yam and oil, of which I'll be telling, I'll be preparing it and you, and I'll be coming live on air. For you guys to see the next, um, uh, for you guys to see how you can use it to eat yam, um, bobozi, what they call African salad, and also you can use it to cook up or soup. I'll be taking you guys on a course to it. You, know, you, you understand? So, this is the final stage of packaging opaka. So, you can eat it like this, you can keep it for the next 24 hours. For you can use it as a seasoner for your okra soup or bolo soup, and you can use it to prepare African salad. I can also use it to prepare 
yam and oil. You understand? So, let me make a recap. You know, the first thing I said, I haven't introduced, I haven't introduced you guys to the foundational points of preparation, whereby you steam the seed, you boil the seed for 24, for 4 hours. It will look like this. It will look like this. You remove it from the shell. Move it from the shell. So remove from the shell. Then you, then you, you know, you divide it. So like what, what I, what I showed you guys. Divide it and you slice it, and you slice it. So it will look like this. What will happen? You will steam it. You will steam this portion for the next two, one hour thirty minutes, and it will look like, like this. And what happen? You watch. You will soak it inside a clean water for the next 24 hours. Okay, for the next 24 hours. Then, having done that, bring it out from the water. You know, wrap it inside the nylon for the next 24 hours. You understand? Then you bring it out. You bring the upaka out. Mix it with salt, and what happen? You package it. So it has first stage. The first stage, boil it for the for four hours. Second stage, bring it out, move it from the ox, slice it into little tiny pieces, then steam it for two hours and soak it, bring it steam or two hours, bring it out from the hot water, then soak it inside clean cold water for the next 24 hours, which is the next day. Then when they, after that you bring it out from the water, put it inside a black trampoline or any color of your choice. Then you leave it for the next 24 hours, which is now what, which is now three days. So when so after the 24 hours has elapsed, you bring it out from the nylon and what happens? You tie it. You understand? So it takes between three to four days of preparation. Next day you boil it, slice it, steam it, soak it to the next day, bring it out, wrap it inside the nylon, paper, inside, inside, the paper, inside the nylon bag, the tarpaulin, and what you, after 24 hours have elapsed, open the nylon and mix with salt and package it with your almond leaf, commonly called a belabor. So this food, this food I'm showing you, its English name is called African oil bean. But in a local palace, or by according to the Igbos, they call it Uba or Ubaka. You understand? It's rich in protein and it helps in the blood hemoglobin and also helps for it to give you a clear vision. You can make further research about Ubaka, about African oil bean, commonly called Ubaka. Thanks for listening to me and thanks for viewing me. I'd like you to click on the thumb up like button and also subscribe to my channel. I'll be coming live on air next week or thereabouts to tell you how you can use these pieces to prepare okra soup, yam and oil, or an abacha, commonly called, I mean, known as African salad. Thanks for listening to me and thanks for viewing me. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.